Hey everybody, it's Level Bill here. It's been six months. It is time for Bear Brick Series 40. Uh, Still Moon Cavalier representing us today. Uh, let's see if we can get some good stuff. You know, this is the Celebrating the Glorious Series, Bear Brick Series 40. You got the selection available there. This nice mocha print here they got going on here. Let's go a little quick zoom across. We got the different assortments here. If the uh, camera wants to keep focus on these, so you guys know what we got going into these. Got some cool secrets. So let's uh, crack this puppy open. Oh, that is that that does not bode well. That was not a clean pair. Oh, there we go. Let's get a good clean rip on this side. Ooh, oh, there we go. No going back now. Uh, last time I had trouble getting this cool little stand popped up, so we're gonna try again here. I don't know how, you know, I used to be doing pretty good at this when I worked retail, popping those up. Oh, there we go. There we go, looking all nice and fancy. So we got 24 of these puppies to open. So let's uh, push the box over here and let's uh, spin the wheel and make a deal. Uh, this, time I, this time I hope I do not uh, slice underneath my fingernail all too badly. Okay, cracking the first one open here. Well, let's hope I don't get any uh, manufacturer errors. Oops, I mean, I am off to a great start. Cracking that pet first one. What do we got there? Oh, that's a good looking one. Uh, now, what is this? Oh, first one of the box is a secret. All downhill from here, baby. I do not know what this is for. That's some of the joy I get out of uh, Bear Brick sometimes, is finding out what artists or uh, fashion brands these are supposed to represent. So, oh yeah, you know, maybe, the, maybe, maybe the card will give me some insight into what I'm looking at. I'm sure it'll be written in Moon Runes, and I will have no clue. That was a little tough to get off there on that one. There's what we're looking at. Yep. Very, very detailed. I'll have to... Try to look into that one later. Okay, so uh, throw the rest of the box away. Uh, we're not gonna hit any other good stuff. Yeah, that's just joking. Gotta keep the train going. Making snarky, fun commentary. You know, I um, try just to kind of be myself with these, but you know, you watch a lot of unboxers who have a lot of uh, personalities, a lot of, uh, a lot of voices. I find a lot of the magic box openers uh, do all sorts of crazy stuff. So we have this this guy right here. This is a Ro Roby. Roby, this is a sci-fi one. I do not know what the uh, sci-fi element of Roby is. And I think, yeah, that's the secret parallel for that because it's got the red booties. Let's crack this uh, card open here and take a look and see if we got some more deets. Yep, there's a there's Roby. Looks like a fine little chap. Looks cute. As I was saying, with some of the like magic openers, they either try to be like alpha investments, like Rudy, I think try to get like a little, little too much commentary. Rudy has a Rudy, Rudy has it nailed down. He, that's him to you know to a T. But everyone else is come across trying to be Rudy, and it just doesn't work for them. Or you try to be like, um, oh god, now I'm blanking on the guy's name. Uh, okay, you got the uh, peanuts one. I forget the name of this dog. It's one of Snoopy's relatives, I know that. Uh, but it's totally an offshoot heart. There, so. Um, uh, open boosters, open boosters. Everyone tries to be kind of similar to him and stuff and try to play along with these various and like ways he opens stuff. And it's like, you know, you know guys, just, uh, if you're gonna, you're, you know, you wanna get in the market of being a uh, opening packs channel just uh try to be yourself i mean i know i don't I mean for all i know the people i see pop up haven't been doing for very long you know to meet a lot of comedians say it does take quite a long time you to find your own voice you spend a lot of your early years just imitating your influences and going from there okay and so then we got the regular roby see the difference in the booties there's a red and a blue emblem and some differences there I, you know like i said i always really enjoy like finding out what these a reference like what the, what these are like a lot of these series because what I like about Bear Bricks is um, not only obviously a lot of the Japanese TV shows or Japanese elements is there but like 
the fashion brands they go with like uh, I think in this set the Milo I didn't know what that is apparently so I believe I'm gonna, I'm gonna be totally wrong here location I believe it's a New York fashion brand I might be totally wrong there uh, but just finding that stuff out and finding that is making a bare brick for some fashion brand I think that's just really cool and really interesting that they do that because you don't really like the kid robot stuff it's a lot of artists and I, and I, there's nothing wrong with just having a lot of artists but it's 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 easy to like not really like expand horizons in that regard this one's really cool i really liked how this one looked all the cool print on it so i see like like these like the the artists they go with these are always so off the bean path as far as these what i you know see and what i notice and like the western art vinyl scene that a lot of the other which are a lot of the artists that get picked up for uh, kid robot dunny series and things like that and that, that could be a gross um, generalization this is how i kind of have uh, seen a lot of it happen uh cake tanaka i'm about to look her up or him up i'm assume it's a woman i'm get really bad gendering artists sometimes I should say they just so i'm not making a, an assumption off the top there okay next one up here Oop, oh okay oh, okay i was really looking forward to this one I've seen the, the art, the, the the art vinyl piece of this. I, oh man, I'm missing. Them now. I don't know if it's Pop Mart or Black Seed Toys have done a piece like this, or maybe it's Medicom themselves. I just remember I recently seeing a uh, a vinyl toy of that that I thought was really cool. I got, I don't know if it's um, actually a property thing and they're just making um, vinyl figures of them or not. But that, I think that, I think that was really cool. And I, the vinyl figure looks really cool, and I think it looked really nice in um, bare brick form. It's got the uh, clear plastic around the, around the ears there. It looked really nice. Okay, so we're doing pretty good so far. Um, no Wonder Woman. I was surprised with Wonder Woman that there isn't a, a parallel secret for Wonder Woman where it's either her in an alternate outfit because the bare brick they made is her in the uh, armored outfit, which is very Kingdom Come inspired um i thought maybe that the parallel would be a uh, cheetah or something they did not just go with that okay and then i got a duplicate for the peanuts um i do know that the other parallel is another snoopy relative i'm just i've assumed relatives it's been a while so i for all i know this is an actual love interest and not a relative Funny, because I still need to get the regular Snoopy from series 36, I think it is. 36, 35. Got most, I got most of the, the box that was at my local FYE for that set when I started collecting these. But, oh, and then we got a uh, Brightburn. I was really, really surprised that this popped up as one of the ones. Man, camera. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, whatever. Got the glowing eyes, got the cape, got the hood. I was really surprised when this was one of the licensed, when they announced the licensed properties for this series. It was going to be Brightburn, because that was such a strange pickup. I really enjoyed that film. Like, not that, I wouldn't say, it didn't end up being one of my favorites of, of last year, but it was just really an interesting take, horror take, on a, a Superman-style story. Like a very a good Elseworlds, or Earth 3. I thought it was a very good Earth 3 Superman film. And that, that and John Wick 3 was perpetuating this, like, good series of, like, Fulci-style eye horror at the movie theater, which I, you, know, you don't see too often anymore, so I was really, really excited to see that pop up. Let's see what we got here next. Okay, cool, cool. So we got, I believe this one is the pattern, I believe, from the, the Bear Brick side. It's kind of like a galaxy kind of look is what they're going for from the uh, translated description they have on the site. That's really nice. Have we got any basics? I think this happened last time. I was getting pretty deep into my box and had not come across any basics. So let's uh, not tear the card. There we go. Yeah, kind of get the galaxy there. Okay. Uh, getting close to the halfway point. Oh, no, 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 I got the uh, Jelly Bean, which is, I believe, a shaved ice, again, according to the website, kind of a strawberry shaved ice, the, 
the bits dripped on top of it. I thought this looked really cool. I like the frosty effect they kind of give the, gave the uh, plastic there. And there's almost like a hint of red underneath the, underneath there. I don't know if this is a reflection of the paint or if there's a mixture up the top. Which actually might be an effect of the head maybe being painted red. I don't know. I'll have to take it off and see. I assume it's red with a um, with this as a tampo on top. It's really cool. I really like how the... Anyway, I get I get the jelly beans always being like these clear like jelly beans. Although for all, you know they really deviated from that a lot with like blood or like ocean colors and things like that. But I, I like that they've been moving towards like just like general food items. Like the last uh, series was bread. The series, one series before that was flan. Okay, there we go. There's the secret for the peanuts one. Okay, so so far we're doing pretty well on the secrets. At least the secret parallels, not the actual secret secrets. Oops. Where's the card? Okay, so we're reaching the halfway point. I mean, again, when it comes to basics, I really would prefer to get the at symbol, the bear at symbol belly. That's why I generally collect for the basics, is trying to get the at symbol from all of the different waves. I have a pretty good collection of those going. Obviously, there's some waves that are much more harder to find than others. Uh, Miles, that was the fashion brand I was talking about. They had this, like, this fashion brand. That was a bear brick. Small little thing like that. I think that's really cool. They do stuff like that. And then the pattern is really cool. This nice marble effect they have going on there. Looks really nice. I, uh, that's another thing I really like about Bear Bricks. I mean, I um, I, li I like generally like a lot of the Kid Row stuff I see for Dunnies and how they, they do a lot more sculpted stuff on those. But there's something about Bear Bricks being just staying so true to the platform and just doing like everything as a Bear Brick that I just really, I really respect a lot. And I really dig a lot. And like some, of, obviously there's going to be some Bear Bricks that look pretty sh shitty and ugly, but... I think overall, it's just, I think a lot of times it works really well, and it's just so cool, the dedication after all these, like, after several decades, almost, but yeah, I think we're almost, almost to 20 years, um, oh, oh, here we go, okay, so we got the, uh, C color changing one, now, I believe this one changes with heat, so I'm gonna hold this one in my hand, let's see if I can I'm gonna hold this one in my hand while I try to open the next. Uh, if I open this at least, Let's see if the colors change. I should go from uh, this this kind of clear tan color, I guess cream color, not tan, to like a darker tan, like that. I assume it's heat reactive, so keep it in the hand, and we'll see how it looks here in a couple minutes. If that does it, or if it needs like actually like warm water to change. We got our first basic, uh, so it's the C, so let's see if we can get the at. So far in every box I've gotten the at that I've opened, so I don't, I don't, again, I don't know if it is a guarantee per box or if I just got very lucky with those. Okay, we got another one, so we got the R. So, yeah, I wonder how exactly how hot the water needs to get to get these to change. I'll have to look into that. But for, sometimes the color changing stuff, just being in the hand for a, about 10, 20 seconds will be enough. But that doesn't seem to be the case with these. That's my first time dealing with one of the color changing uh, bear bricks. I know they had the Thermos ones back in the very early series, but I have not uh, come to possession of those. Next. Oh, okay, so we got to find out the, uh, the Wonder Woman. I opened the card first on that one. Switching it up, getting crazy, kind of losing track of what I'm doing. There she is. For this movie that is uh, still not out yet as of this recording, because I got pushed back to next year because of uh, COVID-19. 
which is so funny because they never showed Cheetah in any of the advertising, but like the Funko Pop, the Funko Mystery Mini, all this stuff has a Cheetah, but there's been nothing else in merchandising wise for you. You know, so it's like they never revealed her until that stuff. Okay, so we got the first of the animal. I, I, I think there is a secret parallel for this one. That's really nice. open on this so we got eight more left um we're only missing the flag and one of the other artists so uh, uh i don't know if that's be natalie or natalie but i think the accent so i assume i'm assume they're french no, probably doing a very bad job on that okay so last eight let's see what we got going on here did very well last last time. I got all all the basic, all all twelve. I guess uh, there's uh, seven, thirteen. If I'm mislooking up there. I think there's thirteen in the set. So okay, so we got a, another regular Robbie. You're going for three for those little buddies so far. Which honestly hadn't been hadn't had too many dupes yet in this box, so I think we were due to start running into some more of them. Don't make me have to go to Mandaraki and pick up my at symbol bear. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, five more to open. Oh, this one. Oh, got a, got a spoil for us. What did we get in this one? This one was taped in. So, or guys, sorry, got caught in the glue. So it looks like we got another jelly bean. Boxes calling their shots. And so far, these are all, are all correctly assembled, which is nice. Let's just go ahead and uh, pull out final four. This box out of here. Free up a little space. That was right there. Grab one off the end here. There we go, finally I got my, my flag for my flag collection. Good old Panama. Cool, okay, so um, we're just missing one more artist for the set of 13. So let's see if we can get in those final three. Or you know, a secret. One of the secrets is just a bear with the Toyota symbol that is very tempting. Oh, and an R. So we are. Uh, that's the same R2. So, man, we got four, four basics. Two of them are duplicates of the exact same letter. Which that's, that's less than ideal. Okay. Let's see what we got. Final two. Rip them. Oh, okay. So this one is, I believe, the E. Yeah, E. Sorry, I'm taking a second there. So we have the E. 
We are getting so many basics in this box, which I suppose uh, can't happen when they're 18, 14, 14.5, so that's uh, quite a high uh, percentage for these on this one. I, I don't know if they've been that high in the recent ones, but I could be mistaken. Okay, final one. Let's see what we get. We're still missing the artist, uh, which is Aider. I'm not sure that stands for something else that I'm just not familiar with. Here. Oh, another bright burn. Well, you know what? That's the way they goes. I think we have a very good right ratio of pulls here. Got pretty much, pretty much everything. I like I said, I don't recall if there was a like a different colored version of the uh, animal one on this one. But we ended up with that. Uh, yeah, so the Ardor, sorry, Ader, Art, the artist one that we did miss is a 2.08%. So it was pretty low on that one. That's the, uh, the one right there that we missed. But otherwise, we ended up getting a good most of the set. So I think it turned out pretty good. Plus we got a secret, which is always nice. Always nice to get a secret. That was really cool. So even if I didn't get my app bear, I think I'm more than made up for it. But again, actually, actually getting a, a secret in this box set. I didn't get one in the last one. Oh, cool. Well, that's it for the, this box, guys. I think it all turned out pretty good, like we just said. So I appreciate you tuning in checking out the video. Hope you have a good day. And if you buy any bear bricks, I wish you best of luck in your polls. And have a good time. Take care, guys. Stay safe.